we are back to kickboxing and it is scheduled for three two minute rounds at 125 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome December 2. Well, December 2, this will be my first time watching him, JR, as we get back to kickboxing after a brutal knockout and an unbelievable showing in a debut fight. Yeah, what a great way to go home with the victory, <laughs> your first time stepping into the cage. And we'll see if uh, Mr. Two here is able to follow up. Boy, I got the name of the same month of Christmas is in, December. <laughs> Representing Brad Muay Thai. And again, a Muay Thai fighter, probably fighting kickboxing, JR, a little crossover perhaps. You and I talked about uh, Muay Thai fighters in a kickboxing match being a little bit stifled. I talked to Mr. Antonio Wicks after his fight. He said next fight he takes is going to be a Muay Thai fight. You know what? You and I are right on the button with that one. Yeah, just saying. Just, just felt he couldn't use all his weapons. And it's it's different, and you've got to give credit to those guys that can do it, that can straddle that line and oh, fight for sure. both. And his opponent, fighting out of Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner, featuring Chrysler Dodge, Ram Fiat on Havana, and Nissan on Arapaho. Please welcome Aaron Lopez. All right, Aaron Lopez has got some hometown crowd root for him. Definitely got the cowbells going in the crowd this evening. I love it. I gotta give it up to Saratoga. It's been a while since I've been some cash on the table. <laughs> no better place for it. 125 pounds. These guys will be lightning fast. But at least you would hope so. And uh, that always relates to being exciting. Yes, There's indeed. Tail of the tape. 24 years old, so he's the younger by three years. A little bit of a height advantage for Lopez by two inches. And Mr. Lopez does have that nine and three record, so a bit of experience advantage as well. Both guys listing their styles as Muay Thai. And both guys kickboxing. So how does that happen? Last minute preparations as we get ready for this one. It sure has heated up. You picked the right time to show up. We've got three great fights. All we were missing was Big JR, man. <laughs> Believe me, I was missing you guys. Get that buzz buster out? Yeah, I was testing it, <laughs> that's for sure. In the fast lane? <laughs> Well, he's relaxed. Grooving, jamming, got a little purple and yellow going. Little Lakers action there. <laughs> Big and those guys are good this year. Ladies and gentlemen, this kickboxing bout is brought to you by Old Glory Energy Drink. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Denver, Colorado, representing Rad Muay Thai, December 2. And his opponent, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner, featuring Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana and Nissan on Arapaho, from Denver, Colorado, representing Peak Kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Aaron Savage. Lopez. A couple Denver fighters going to mix it up from the 303, JR. Yes, indeed. A little 303 right, on 303 violence the here. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. See how that experience and height advantage plays out for Mr. Lopez. Cage door shut, they fixed that, JR. Everybody's ready, let's go. Punch and kicky time. Oh. 
what I see immediately is Lopez being cognizant of the distance and managing that distance well. December two came over with that right hand when Lopez threw that front kick out. Nice counter. Right there, Lopez had a chance to close the distance, but instead stayed outside where he does have that reach advantage. Came with that kick and with that kind of leading left hand. Something you don't always see from a taller fighter is their ability to utilize that reach advantage. And Lopez obviously well schooled. Side kick by Lopez. Close. Oh, nice counter right hand. Yeah, Lopez took one right there. Nice yeah. punch. He took it well. <laughs> Turning kick turned into a back kick for Lopez. And again, December 2 comes out. He's got some good counter instincts. Two with the switch kick. Didn't land super solid, but enough to have a little effect, make Lopez wary of stepping forward too much. Two scored with oh. that overhand. Nice kick by two. Two brought that up high. Looked to me like he was going to try to target underneath the elbow to the rib cage, and he went right over the shoulder. Nice work by two, staying calm. 10 seconds left in this round, kind of a feeling out process. I expect it to pick up a little bit in that second round. Agreed. Tell you what, Lopez has the experience, but I thought December two looked pretty good in that first round, JR. Made, made a very nice showing for himself. Yes, sir, I agree. Checking out the Larry H. Miller replay here, and Lopez putting together some combinations, but as he stepped forward, the best punch of the fight landed for two as he caught him. Uh, basically, as he went by, he stuck his right hand out, and almost let him uh, clothesline himself there off that right hand. I think there are some opportunities for Lopez to get in, like you said early, and he kind of hesitated. His corner's probably talking about that, to take advantage of every opportunity that you have. Round two, Lopez wearing the purple, Mr. Two wearing the black and yellow. Oh, spinning back kick to start things off. Jump spinning back kick for Lopez. Looking to put a little flash out there. We appreciate that. Both fighters have a good turning side kick. They chamber it high, going with front kicks there. Spinning back kick, nobody home. Two sidestepped it. Yeah, two did a nice job of reading that. Oh, spinning back, spinning fist. back fist landed to good effect. That's going to be a push, not no a knockdown. Knock right. That spinning back fist landed well. Oh, that sounded like yeah, it was right on the low. cup to yep. me. Wow. Didn't react to it, so that cup sound was it did its job, JR. Cup paid for itself right yeah, there. Absolutely. Good <laughs> six bucks. Just takes once. Best six dollars I ever spent. <laughs> Lopez is making it a little bit harder for two this time. Being a little more aggressive with that sidekick as well. And standing a little more sideways. Lopez changing up his stance a little bit. Notice that, JR. Some of the kicks that he's throwing look to have a little bit more of a taekwondo type style to him. So possibly has that in his background outside of his Muay Thai training. Lopez caught that kick, another slip by two. Two eats a right, glancing right. Good right hand for two. Boy, when he loads that up and it finds its target, he has some power in that right hand. Absolutely. Lopez starting to find the mark a little more with that reach, JR. In the corner of Lopez calling for more power. Just staying out of the reach of December 2. Yeah, even as he's stepping forward, Lopez, cognizant of the distance, doing a really masterful job of managing that distance. Turning side kick and a couple knees to end this round. Good end of the round for Lopez. Clinched up, firing off knees to the body. 
But Lopez gets a little bit fired up. A little bit fired up. I'm still thinking back to the last fights we called, and it was an early ending where fighter came out hot dog a little bit, showed his yeah. chin, and boy, got popped. Yeah, sometimes you got to be careful what you ask for, as they say. Checking out the replay here. This is where Lopez able to trap a kick. Landed uh, the punch, but it wasn't really the punch. It was more the shove that knocked his opponent down. So not counted as a knockdown. And here we see Lopez managing that distance, going into the range where he's able to make contact, but standing outside, not letting his opponent land counters effectively. It'd be interesting to see with, with Lopez, if he comes in, if two, he's got the power, if he can counter punch and catch him with the shot. Third and final round. And working the cage door, okay. Got to get a little WD-40 <laughs> over there, JR. Oh, my oh, goodness. Front kick. Oh, jumping front kick by Lopez Land. Yeah, that's going to be an eight count right there. For sure. See if two's able to get up and answer the count. He well, is two staggering. is having a hard time right there. Be interesting to see if the referee lets this go. Coming forward. And that's nope, going to be it. hit. And that's I think it. that's the right call. Not wow. on steady feet was Mr. Two. So Lopez, first technique of the third round, runs across the cage, jumps up in the air. Puts his foot on his opponent's face and goes home with the victory. Congratulations to the Peak Training Center fighter, Mr. Aaron Lopez. And checking it out on the replay there. That's going to be on the Sparta highlight reel for a long time. Yeah, he caught that one right. I think he caught two. I didn't know if two was waiting on that, but I think he caught him off guard for sure. And it was just that little split second of delay. And that's all it takes, just freeze your opponent for a second, split the guard with the kick. Got to give credit to two to try to get up, but he just didn't have it in him. Man, if you're going to try to draw it up on the board, couldn't do it any better than what Mr. Lopez just displayed. Checking out the uh, live action shot there, some really nice sportsmanship by both guys. You know what, and I like to see that because Lopez Celebrating quite a bit, but at least taking the time out to thank his opponent. Yes, sir. And looks like Big Mo has the official time. That's going to be just a couple of seconds into round number three. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wambacher calls a stop to this contest at 19 seconds of the third and final round. Declaring your winner, by knockout, Aaron Savage Lopez. Well, he goes by Savage, and his final technique of the fight was exactly that. Congratulations, Mr. Lopez. Get to see Bailey winners for the post-fight interview after a word from our sponsors. All right, I'm here now with your winner, Aaron Savage Lopez. Got the crazy knockout round three. Got to feel pretty good. Oh, yeah, it always feels good to, you know, come out and do what you train to do. Finish soon, finish fast, finish early. You look like you were having a blast out there. You got the finish with a flying sidekick across the cage. Was that something you practiced before? Um, I'm a fifth degree black belt in Taekwondo, so it's been something I've actually practiced for a really long time. But, you know, it, I just felt right. I was like, I'm going to try it. Throw the kitchen sink at him, see if it hits. You can tell you've got some Taekwondo experience. You throw a lot of fancy kicks out there. What was your game plan going in tonight? Uh, we knew that he had a really heavy tie style. He was going to try and take the legs out. Uh, a lot of people who have watched my fights know that I'm exciting to try and go for the finish. So, you know, we wanted to make sure that we stayed away from the leg kick, were able to stay active, circle to the outside of the power, and look for the crazy stuff. Game plan worked tonight. You're always an exciting fighter. When can we expect to see you back in that cage? As soon as possible, January. Hey, Jeff, I know you're here somewhere. I hope you hear me, man. I want to fight for that belt come January. Where's it at? It was a beautiful knockout tonight. I'm sure there's a lot of people that you want to thank. 
Absolutely. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God. Without Him, I don't have these abilities. I'd like to thank all my friends, all my fans, all my family, everybody who always comes out to support me. Make some noise, Savage Crew. I'd like to thank my gym, Pete Kickboxing and Jiu-Jitsu. Thank you, Coach Moda. Thank you, Professor Friezon, for guys getting me ready. Thank you to all my teammates. And thank you to my uh, sponsor, Kobayan Shabu Shabu and Lohai. If you guys haven't checked them out, go check out Kobayan Shabu Shabu. Congratulations. Great fight, Aaron. What's up guys, this is Jeff here with Sparta Media Group and I wanted to take a brief moment to talk about all the exciting products that we offer here at Sparta Media Group. Whether you're a small business or a large business and beyond, we offer it all. We are your one-stop shop for promotional items. We build video content. We build YouTube pre-roll. We do graphic design. We do screen printing and t-shirts. We wrap vehicles. We create vinyl banners, direct to mailers, and business cards, and so much more. To learn a little bit about Sparta MG, click the link below and follow me.